Six o'clock, we're taking a look at how local rehab center is working to help people struggling with addiction, especially an addiction to opioids. Looking at the latest overdose data for South Carolina, DHEC says the Palmetto State saw more than 430 overdoses in 2021. That's more than 421 overdoses than they did the year before. So that is a 25% increase. News 12's Hallie Turner is in Aiken Forest where local law enforcement there and across the country are on the front lines in the fight against opioid addiction in our area. Recovery is hard. Recovery is extremely hard. A recovering addict himself, Jordan Lewis, is speaking from experience. There's a point where I experienced homelessness because of my addiction. Pretty much my whole adult life, I got, uh, I found recovery at 34, from like 17 to 34, drugs and alcohol. With overdose rates rising in the Palmetto State, Jordan says it's becoming harder for people to get help. A lot of private treatment facilities uh, are extremely expensive, and there's just not a lot of options out there for people lower income. The overdose rates are very high right now, and it's scary when someone comes in needing a resource that just isn't available. He got help at the Aiken Center and believes in the mission so much he now works there. He's making it his mission. No one gets turned away. I've never told someone I can't help you. I, I don't have that in my DNA. I cannot do that. If I come across someone that needs help, I will figure something out. One way they help is by helping safe addicts from themselves. If drugs are lying around, it's hard to say no. A lot of the times an overdose can happen when high power drugs are abused from their intended purpose. Purpose. As a way to reduce harm, they give out these drug deactivation kits like this one. You tear open the pouch, pour in your unwanted, unused, or no longer needed medication, and add some water. 30 seconds later, those drugs are now deactivated from their intended use, and you throw it away, knowing you have a better chance at life tomorrow. And the chance of what could happen tomorrow is worth it. See, I've seen a whole lot of great success stories. I've seen families reunited. Uh, I've seen, you know, people get married. I've seen people start their own business in recovery uh, that had nothing. And then they, you know, people go from homeless to homeowner.